In the previous video, we built this post model for modeling the data for the post objects from the API. We built main API for actually retrieving those post objects. And then we added that as a dependency into main module. And we passed main module as a module to the main activity subcomponent. So right there. Now it's time to actually start building posts fragment. So if I log in, just to kind of remind you, and I go to the drawer, go to posts, this is post fragment. That's what I, what I need to start building now. And uh, to start building that, it's also gonna have a view model. So we need to start by building that view model. Or actually, I guess I'm gonna start by building the layout and then we'll move into building the view model. So as I said, we're gonna start by building the layout. So I'm gonna create a new layout resource file, right clicking on the layout directory. I'm going to call it fragment posts. And uh, this this course isn't on building layouts. I don't want to waste any time. So I'm just going to copy paste this from the source code. So here I have the master branch selected, I'm going to go into res layout fragment posts, and I'm just going to copy this and there's not much in here. It's just a recycler view. So nothing, nothing too crazy that you're missing out on. Now I'm going to build the view model. So I'm going to close this. I'm going to go into the UI package, go into main, and I'm going to create a new package inside the main package. This is going to be called posts. And inside posts is where I will create that view model. So posts view model. Of course, we need to extend my view model. We've done this many times before. And you're familiar with the MVVM architecture, so you know exactly how to do all this. Uh, now I'm going to insert the default constructor. I'm going to annotate with at inject like we've done before. And we need to add some dependencies that we're going to be injecting into the view model. Uh, the first one is the session manager. We're going to need that. So session manager. The second one is going to be that main API that we built in the previous video. So main API. Now I'm coming down to the constructor. So session, session manager, session manager, and main API main API, then we just need to set those. So this dot session manager equals session manager, and this dot main API equals main API. No surprises here, nothing we haven't done before. Uh, last thing I want to do is just add a log here saying that view model is working. That way we know that the view model actually was brought into view and everything's working and we didn't get any crashes. So uh, there's our view model, or at least that's the start of our view model. Now I want to build that posts fragment. So I'm going into the posts package, going to new Java class, and this is going to be called posts fragment. Of course, this is going to extend the fragment class. First thing I'm going to do is add a log for debugging log T. Uh, I'm going to close this to give us some more room. Next, I'm going to declare some variables or some things that we're going to need in here. The first is the view model, so post view model, I'll call it view model. Next is a recycler view. We will need a recycler view eventually, although I won't be setting it up in this video. I'm just going to add it for now. Uh, we're going to need to inject the view model provider factory like we've done before when using uh, view models, when injecting view models. I'm going to call it provider factory because that's what we've been calling it. I'm going to insert the onCreateView method. That's for setting the layout file. So I'm going to return inflator.inflate r.layout.fragment fragment posts is what we want. That's the one we just created. Referencing the container and passing false. So that is it for on create view. Uh, I'm going to give myself some more room down here. The next method that I need is on view created. So control O on view created and inside on view created I can delete the super I can set the ID to the recycler view so find view by ID r dot ID dot recycler view uh, if you're curious why I didn't um, why I'm using on view created instead of on create view to set the ID of the recycler view is because I have access to the view uh, if I wanted access to the view in here I'd have to instantiate it so it just takes longer it's easier to do it in on view created uh, now I need to instantiate the view model. So view model providers, like we've done so many times before, or I guess only twice before in this project. But if you're familiar with MVVM, you've done this many times before. Uh, referencing this for the fragment, passing the provider factory, and then get post view model dot class. And there we have our fragment, or at least the start of our fragment. But we're not done here because we've created a new view model, we've created a new fragment, and we haven't added these to our dagger classes. Just so just like we've done before. So let's take a look uh, at the auth package, for example, in the auth view models module, we have to bind that view model. And also in uh, activity builders module, 
or not activity builders module in uh, main fragment builders module we added profile fragment we have a new one now so we're going to need to add post fragment so i'm copying that pasting it below i'm going to call this post fragment uh, and then call this contribute posts fragment so there's our fragment declaration uh, now i need to add the view model so just like we have in main view models module we have bind profile view model I'm going to copy this and we need to bind the, the new view model, which is the post view model. So post view model, this one will be bind post view model. And this is a post view model object. Now, the last thing I want to do before I move on to the next video is test all of this. I want to make sure that all of this is working. And right now, if we look at activity main, we have a single frame layout in here and we added that for testing. So in main activity, I have a method named test fragment where I'm testing the profile fragment. Well, instead, I'm just going to change this to post fragment and make sure that all of that is working. So uh, it's obviously not set up the way it should. We haven't, you know, built the proper navigation, added the navigation drawer, any of that. But this is just a way to test the fragment to make sure that the view model is working. Everything is injecting. All that stuff's good uh, before we actually move on. So we have our view model. We have our fragment. Uh, everything should be good to go. So I'm just going to run this and we'll take a look and see if we see that log output that says that the view model is working. If we see that, then we know that the view model is coming into view, the fragment is being inflated, all that stuff, and we, uh, we should be good to go. All right, so there's the app running. I need to log in with a user, logging in, and we get a crash. So let's take a look here. Can I create create instance of class post view model in post fragment? So something uh, is not working. I have post fragment declared there in the main view models module. I have post view model declared. Um, that sh it should be fine actually. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean the project. I'm going to rebuild the project, and um, it's because it should work because I've added. Let's see, I've added the dependency. If I look in here, I have main, main. Uh, I've, I'm providing the main API. I, if I go into main fragment builders, I have the fragment. And if I go into main view models module, I have the post view model being provided here. So that, uh, that sh should be good to go. I'm gonna try running that again. I see what I did. I made a very dumb mistake. I, ch I extended by fragment and not dagger fragment. My bad. Uh, that should be that should be fine now. So let's run this and uh, let's take a look here. All right, so here we have the app on the screen. I'm going to type in an ID, click login. Looks like it works. Now let's take a look at the log and see if we're seeing the view model. And there we have view model is working. So everything is is working as we expect at this point. Uh, now in the next video, I'm going to work on actually making the query to the API and retrieving the posts. So that means uh, just like we've done in the view models in the past, I'm going to return some live data from the API and send it back to the UI.